Good morning. Father Anait Bernard and Naim Harry wish you all a very fruitful feast of Pentecost. In the first reading in the upper room in Jerusalem, the apostles received the Holy Spirit as was promised by Lord Jesus Christ. In the second reading, St. Paul says that without the Holy Spirit, none can say that Jesus is the Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus himself gives power and authority to the apostles and to their successors to forgive sins. Today's reflection, Pentecost, the birthday of the Church. The faithful of a renowned city parish had made the plan from the last few months to collect funds to prepare a cake of 2021 pounds. They made a lot of publicity to the faithful of the city and all around to come and visit and take pictures with it. It was to stress the importance of the birthday of the church and all the faithful as well. They were invited to reach for the Pentecost Eucharist and share in the cake after the Holy Mass. People from all over came to the church and listened to the Sunday message and were enriched in their faith that the Holy Spirit always helps and guides them through the sacraments. It was a memorable event and ones who came to the church occasionally, they took by the Spirit in the Eucharist with pomp and splendor. How adequately we thank the Lord for the gift of the Holy Spirit and celebrate the birthday of the church, including each one of us. Let us pray. O God, on the feast day of Pentecost, we pray for the church. God, keep the church united and bless us all and use us for your glory. We ask this in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us and may God bless you and your families. And I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.